Hello, friends. Hello, subscribers. And everybody else who is watching, this is Bad NES Fan coming back at you. We're going to be doing another NES review today of the Flintstones for the NES. That's right, the Flintstones. Oh, oops. Oh, I guess we can't. Nah, we're going to have to cancel the review. Nope, sorry, guys. Uh, nah, I'm just kidding. Nah, we're not going to cancel the review. Uh, now nah, we're going to just go ahead and uh, choose the correct ROM. That would be the... The, uh, the wiser man might have thought of that, but... All right, anyway, here we go. And he did. <laughs> all right. Oh, just listen to this music. <laughs> well, my... Bum, bum, bum. We'll have a you time. All right, all right. It's enough of that. Let's just start the game. Uh, uh, enough of that music. Just mute it. Uh, yeah, let's turn that down. Okay, but uh, yeah. Anyway, we are going to be taking a look at the uh, the Flintstones. Uh, so out of 1992, as you can see by the Taito Corporation. Never really heard of them, but you know. Uh, well, whatever. Anyway. As I've been saying <laughs> for a couple of days, I'm going to be putting up a review of this. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. All right, the Flintstones were living peacefully with Gazoo. Sure, Gazoo. Good buddy of mine uh, who came from outer space. Then one day, uh-oh, with bright lights appeared a sinister-looking time machine, which landed in front of the Flintstones family. Ooh-ooh. Oh, man, I'm Dr. Butler. That is no good at all. Look at that creep. I came here from the 30th century to obtain prehistoric pets for the Orbit City Zoo, said the man. Now, if this isn't... All right, now, anyway, hold on. In the, fi in the time machine, he took Dino... He took Dino and Hoppy away. At the same time, the man blasted Gazoo's time machine into pieces and sent them all the way to various places so that Fred and his company would not be able to follow him. Now Fred has to collect all the scattered parts of the time machine and rebuild it to rescue Dino and Hoppy from the future. Well, quite a series of events to take place from one day. Um, apparently you have to travel. They expect, you know, they just they don't expect too much out of you. Just go into the future. Blast your way into the 30th century. Yeah, they're not hard on you at all. So whatever. I still think the highlight of this game is going to be the, the opening scene. But you can disagree, but I'm going to stick with my guts. All right, so I'm playing as Fred, apparently. All right. I can swing the bat. That's good. And I killed that thing, whatever that thing was. All right, now climb up there. Climb up there, Fred. Apparently you have to hold down A in order to do that, to make him climb. Swing that bat, Fred. You got it, man. All right. Hey, look, it looks like he's a mental patient swinging that thing. Die, die, die. Bastard, die. Okay, hold down X. All right. Okay. Sweet. All right, we're doing awesome in this game, guys. All right. Pow. You see that? It, it, it said pow. That means I killed the heck out of it. Can I kill this thing? Oh, that's like a trampoline, I see. That's cool. Isn't it? How come I hit it and I just, I just went skying rocketing in the air? Can I go down here? Okay, sweet. Whoa! Oh, oh crap. I just lost the health. It's okay. Oh, stinking birds. Dang it, what are they doing to you, Fred? You're gonna take that crap from them? There you go. Yeah, kill them. Swing that... Swing that prehistoric bat, Fred. Ah, I died. Yeah, but this... I don't know if this is anything special. I like the Flintstones a lot. So it'll get a little bit of a higher rating just for having a Flintstones theme. But I don't think this is anything more than like a Mario Brothers, really. When they stuck Fred in there. And a couple... And, you know, obviously the other characters, too. Oh, that guy hurts me? I thought I was supposed to step on him. Oh, I guess I have to grab onto those things. That's right. I forgot about that. Okay. 
Round and round she goes. Where is she stops? N nobody, not even me, knows. Me knows? No, I don't know. Doesn't quite make any sense, but... <laughs> I guess you have to hold the A button and in some cases hit up on the D-pad to climb your way up. Oh, crap. Oh, I just got killed. That sucks. Oh, I gotta start from here again. Oh, whatever. What? Whatever. Yeah, if you like the Flintstones, check this out. Play it for... Play it for a few minutes. This isn't really anything special. You know, I don't even know how you're supposed to turn Flintstones into a game, but, you know. I think they could have had a little bit of a more intelligent storyline. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, I see. Pull myself up and keep going. Yeah, where do you think you're going? Killed you. Owned your life. Pretty little prehistoric devil angels or something. I don't know even what those things are called. I don't know why they're just randomly jumping. Was it that pterodactyl or something? Yeah, looks like he just put his head in his shirt. Whatever the heck you call that thing. Animal skin or whatever. Oh, yeah, Fred. Ponin. We are owning. Can I go in there? Die. There you go. Sliding down. No! Yes! Alright. Yeah, I don't know what else does really say about this game. What are you getting? I don't know. We'll go ahead for graphics. Graphics pretty basic, two and a half out of five. I don't think they get any. Think they deserve anything more than than a two out of five. Uh, what else should I write? Oh yeah, I, I write gameplay. I don't know. Gameplay three and a half maybe. Nah, more like a three out of five. Controls. He can jump. He grabs onto things and he swings a bat. <laughs> I don't know what else there is to say. Three out of five for the controls overall. Ah. Anything. This isn't anything special. I really want to give it a two and a half, but because it is the Flintstones, we'll give it a three. Oh, we're coming up to a boss. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give it a three. This it doesn't even look like bedrock. This, I don't know. Flintstones th for the Flintstones guys. Th oh, game over. Yeah. All right. Whatever. So for the Flintstones, guys, uh, 3 out of 5. Go ahead and have a look at it, I guess, if you're a big Flintstones fan. Otherwise, uh, I wouldn't even bother with it, so I'll give it a 3 out of 5. The best part was doing karaoke with you guys in the beginning. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. So that was definitely the best part, and, um, you know, keep doing karaoke. Karaoke's awesome. We did it for my senior trip. And uh, so the song definitely deserves a karaoke uh, plug, that's for sure. So, But that's about it. I mean, pick up the game and look at it for a couple seconds just to, you know, do the karaoke and uh, maybe to play a little bit through the first level. But, you know, nothing terribly special. So we're going to go ahead and give it a, a 3 out of 5. Uh, you know, decent. It's, it's all right. Uh, so that's that NES fan signing off, guys. I uh, appreciate you watching. And... Uh, Stay tuned. We'll be doing a few more in the next couple of weeks. Talk to you, talk to you later.